Hey there, John of Peter Sports. What's going on, y'all? All right, I'm taking 20 seconds to say I've missed everybody. You know, I hope y'all been healthy, and prosperous. <sighs> Football season is inching closer and closer, and I don't know about you all, but I need that in my life. I need a little football because it's been dead. I mean, I want to make videos, but there's literally nothing happening. I thought about making videos like ranking players, you know, to just get some airtime. I wasn't sure you guys would want that. If you'd like, you know, a top 10 or, you know, top 20 player ranking for the team, uh, maybe with some highlights, if, if that sounds good to you guys, hit me up in the comments. Let me know, but today in this video, uh, actually, well, you know what? So every few days, you know, I'll Google some New York Giants and, you know, read some articles and see what's going on. And maybe I can get, you know, maybe first, maybe it'd be some inside stuff, maybe something I can make a video about. But with most of it, I just, you know, I'm nosy. I want to see what people are saying, right? Most days, it's the same old trip. But last night, I find a, a Bleacher Report article saying Leonard Williams will be the biggest bust of the 2021 on on the Giants. And, you know, I wasn't angry at it. I think it's wrong, uh, but I understand why some people feel that way. You know, I think people look at Leonard, you know, Leonard's Jets years and, you know, his production in, in those seasons and have, you know, made up their minds about him. And I honestly get it, you know, I've been... I've been guilty of that kind of thinking of myself, you know, and then just not paying enough attention, maybe, and just listening to the narrative that, you know, people spin. Uh, but anyways, last year, we all know, you know, Leonard had his breakout season, 11 and a half sacks. In his previous five seasons, he had 17 and a half sacks combined. So if you just look at the sack numbers and now you're factoring a new contract, I could see how somebody could think they could bust. But when you really dive in and you see the amount of attention Williams gets, first of all, that gives other players better opportunities. He has always gotten a metric fuck ton of pressures. Even when the sack totals weren't there, I mean, he was top five most every season by, by defensive linemen. And on them plays, that turns into sacks where other players turn in, that turns into interceptions. You know, there's a lot of hidden value there. You can move Williams all around in the line. And, you know, he's just, he's pretty fucking good against the run. I mean, just everything. When you add it all up, I just, I just don't think there's anything there to this article. I, you know, in my opinion, I think there was just a 0% chance Williams bust <laughs> becomes a bust next season all of a sudden. Um, with the size of his contract, you could say it's possible that he could be a huge disappointment uh, to people. But bust is just a little bit hyperbolic. <laughs> You know, on top of all that, you know, he's just never uh, been injured in his career. You know, every year uh, he's played 75% of this, this team snaps on the defense. He's he's just, he isn't going to bust. <laughs> you know, I like to bring these kind of uh, bashing articles. And I like to make videos about him. And, you know, I talk about, you know, some of these maybe bad opinions and takes from people. A lot of people are really sleeping on this team. And that may not seem like much. Uh, and if the team turns out to be bad, all them people that are making these articles could flip it around on me. No, you're a homer. And maybe I am biased and, you know, I'm not seeing something. I'm not predicting a Super Bowl, but I do think this team has the opportunity. And combined with the talent that it has to surprise a lot of people this upcoming season. And if the Giants start out strong, start the season 3-0, 4-0 or something, don't be surprised if the media goes crazy and completely flips it. These are just the, these are just the kind of stuff I read on a daily basis. Uh, i got to be honest, I read, it's just the same bowl that the media puts out there. You could say it's just for click. Sometimes, you know, it really it feels hateful. And I just think that we need to start holding these people's feet to the fire. We're in the age of clickbait, and uh, it sucks. But anyways, if somehow Leonard Williams turns out to be a bust, so I'll come, I'll come on here, and I will officially apologize to Brent, uh, whoever this guy's name is at Bleacher Report. Just kind of really just wanted to get a video more than anything, 
out there. I still kind of slow. I have an idea for a few more videos, but you know, if there's a story or a giant's talking point you guys want to hear, hear, well, anyways, hear me run my mouth about, leave me a comment. I enjoy making requested videos for subscribers, they're fun. Anyways, I think that's all I got today. Like, subscribe, and uh, let's wreck shit this season. Go Giants.